everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running In Style. So in today's video, I thought that I would share with you all the tools in my sewing arsenal that I just can't live without. Over the weekend, I watched the clueless seamstress share her favorite tools and I thought it would be a really nice thing to share with those of you that have subscribed to my channel. So let's just jump into what I like to use and hopefully there are some new things here and if you have ideas or if you have tools that you love to use, don't forget to comment or share it with me and um, yeah, we can just communicate that way. Okay, first up, I have my applique scissors. This is what it looks like. This is the gingham and it's from Italy. It's It's got a nice weight. I really like to use this when I am at my sewing machine and I need to clip something. It also is great for grading depending on how you hold as you cut. You can cut the upper piece shorter than the back piece so it's really good for grading. I also like to use it as my permanent snipper. Next up I will be sharing with you my clips. I like to use these clips. I think these are quilting clips. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember the name. I bought it a, a few months ago, but they're clover and I know they have bigger ones. But the thing about these is there are lines. I hope you there are lines on here for like a quarter a third and an eighth so when you clip your fabric you can tell how much or how deep you're in from the seam edge so you'll be like oh if I clip it this far in it's five eight or if I clip it this far in it's an eight so it's a really great tool and it helps when you don't want to deal with pins or get in stick I use this a lot around the armhole area just because that is a very it's a really pin full area. You put tons of pins there and you're putting it on your machine and you're rotating it and then the pins are like sticking you constantly and it's just terrible. So try this one. I really enjoy and I feel a lot safe using this. Otherwise, um, what I also do is I will pin the armhole with this and then I will go back in and hand baste it. I know it seems like double work, but in the end, I'm pretty sure that my fabric has not shift while I've been turning it and sewing with the machine if it's been hand stitched. So that's one thing I do like to do depending on if the fabric is very shifty or if it's really a bulky piece. So that's the second thing. The third thing here is my my washers. I think everyone I've seen so far in the sewing community uses washers as weight, but it's just a lot better than pinning because you're not, not that you usually damage your fabric when you pin, it's just that it seems less intrusive and I like using weights. I would really like to know where Kula Seamstress got her square ones because I think they're kind of cool looking, but I have these for now. Um, let's see here. My little measuring gauge. I love this one. Let's bring it into focus. This measuring gauge is the bomb. As you can see, there are many different measurements on this one. Let's turn it again. And as well as on the back. There we go. So I love this as well for when I, I use this when I am tracing my my patterns out just because I always and this is time consuming but I feel safe by doing it I always mark my seams I always mark my five eighths or my my three eighths because I feel a lot safer doing that 
and now we have my hem gauge. This is this is one I use rarely. I don't seem to use it a lot anymore. When I first started to sew, I used it quite um, a lot, but I feel like I have so many other things that I I don't reach for it as much, but I do enjoy having it available if I need it. It also has tons of measurements here. Sorry about the light, but there are just a variation of measurement for your hemline and then there's this really nice curve if you need to curve um, a hem so that's another one that I enjoy another thing I like is my rotary cutter which goes really nicely with having my weights now I think these go hand in hand you can't use the weight and use a scissors I don't think that makes quite a lot of sense because using the weight weight holds your, your fabric down or whatever you're holding down and if you start going with the scissors then you're going to be lifting it and shifting it and that is not that's not going to be really good for your project and you do not want to have that when you're sewing you need to be precise at all times because it can get a little scary if things are off a bit and get all screwed up and then your project is terrible or you have to work really hard to get it back on point so these go hand in hand and I really like working with them I tend to use this all the time this is basically my main uh, cutting tools if I have to use pins I use pins on anything that's pretty small the other items are like my rulers and I have a Claire 2 by 18 inch so this ruler is 2 inches wide and 18 inches long. It's pretty busted up because I've been using it forever, but I love it. And another thing I like is that there is this, these holes down the center. So if you need to mark something, there's a little hole and it's really easy. You don't have to think about lifting the ruler and trying to guess where the hole is. So it's really a good measuring tool. Another one I have is my 5 by 24 Claire ruler. I like using this because it gives me a lot of real estate to work with and it's Claire. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that there aren't any holes at each inch so that you can do your marking. So that's a bummer. Maybe there's one out there and I can upgrade. That's that's my second measuring tool I do have a yardstick but I think everyone has one of those I prefer the wood ones I know a lot of people like the the metal ones but I, I don't know I just I'm comfortable with the wood one I have a metal one as well and I just use them interchangeably if I feel the need to something new that I've added like two or three days ago is my flexible a curve and this is one I purchased on Amazon and you can find this in the it's either the art or the architecture department or you could just put a flex ruler and this will pop up they have various lengths the one I have is 18 inches and it's um, it's about three eighths yes so the radius is three eighths and what's cool about this is it works wonderful for making adjustments to like an armhole or a hip it just stays in whatever shape you want so it works wonderfully for grading so I'm excited to start using this I'm really pumped I saw this in I saw this about two years ago a flexible ruler and I'm not sure what brand it was but I'm pretty sure it was on one of Nancy Zeman's television series and then a few weeks ago I saw it on inside the hem so I felt like yep I know I need one of these and I'm gonna get it and I'm so happy that I have it yay 
And that really completes all the tools that I really have in my room. And this is my little, this is my room, this is my sewing room. Um, I know I've got a few questions about my sewing room, but it's kind of under construction. And this room serves two purposes, it's not just my sewing room. So I'm gonna, I've been rearranging and setting it up and hopefully, hopefully I'll have something in the near future to share with you. But this is my space, um, yeah. Oh, one more thing. I did receive a question about my sewing book collection. So I will probably post something in a week or two about that and share those with you guys. And yeah, that's it. That's about it. I still don't have a name for her. Can anybody come up with a name for her? If you think you have a really cool name for my dress form so I can refer to her instead of mannequin, please let me know. We can name her and I want to say thank you again for everyone that has been subscribing to my channel. I am so excited and overjoyed with the support and I can't wait to do something fabulous for you. I don't know when and I don't know what but I know when I decide to do it it's going to be awesome because I love giving gifts. I sure do. Gifts are fantastic. We all love to receive them, but I love to give them. So with all that, I am going to sign off and I will catch you on my next upload. Have a wonderful day. Bye.